Dan Man here. We fired up the grill here on Memorial Weekend. Getting ready to try some more uh, homemade wild pig brats from Texas. Just wanted to show you guys. I don't know if you can see it or not, but down inside there, I got a big block of hickory. About two inches by four inches. Down right there in the middle. And that's what's going to give us our smoke here in a little bit. We'll come back a little later once we got some stuff on the grill. Okay, we've got an assortment here today. We got a few hot dogs on this thing because I got some little guys here to eat. A little bit of chicken, a few burgers, and here's the wild pig broths. Got ready to turn them over and get the inside going. We'll see how they are here in a minute. Here's another little hint for you. You want to get your temperature around 250. Not real hot. Not too low. Just let that smoke seep in and let them cook kind of slow. <laughs> now here we got Mr. Jamie Wilson. He's a K-State fan. And he's going to try a pig broth and tell us what he thinks. Good broth. There you have it, folks. Now right, we've got another guy trying the broths here. See what he thinks. Very good. Very good. I'm going to have to get a second. Yeah, there's more over there, so help yourself. Okay, and here's the boss. This is do or die here, make it or break it. Go ahead and give it a try. Best one so far. Best one so far, there you have it. Tell us what you think. Huh? Tell us what you think. Tastes good with pickles. Tastes good with pickles, there you go. Your favorite accompaniment to the brat is a bread and butter pickle. And here we go. We got everybody done with dinner. We're sitting around getting ready to sample some homemade jalapeno beer. Having a great time on Memorial Day. Make sure if you want some wild pig brats, you give the ranch boss a call. Head on down to Welder, Texas. Shoot a couple. See you later.